I, you know, a lot of these guys have had the prelim experience, but for you, it's pretty much something new. How are you feeling emotion-wise leading into this, that sort of thing? Oh, pretty relaxed. I, I, I'd sort of have to say I'm not one to sort of dwell on things or um, sort of worry about what's going on. Um, you know, in the now, I just sort of want to, you know, be myself and relax and just enjoy the, enjoy the moment. And um, obviously, it's my first prelim, so I'm pretty excited. But um, at the same time, pretty relaxed and pretty cruisy, um, doing the normal things I do throughout the week and um, drink coffee on the beach, basically. So I've just been doing that, continuing to enjoy myself. So, um, yeah, I'll do that for the rest of the week. And guys, before we speak about the influence of Benji, your first year with him, what's he been like? How's he helped you, that sort of thing? Yeah, he's been really good. He's obviously come here. He's getting old now, so uh, it's good to have an old head in the team to sort of steer everyone around. And, um, you know, he's obviously got a lot of experience under his belt. So um, he's cool, calm, collected, and likes to take the piss out of people. So, um, you know, it's handy to have a, a bloke like him around just to keep everyone sort of intact and, um, you know, to to just sort of telling us to enjoy it. And um, obviously we've got a big game coming up this week. So, um, you know, to have an old head, an experienced head like Benji, it's handy to have. Wayne in a big league like this. Yeah, well, he's getting old now too. So, um, but no, he's obviously, um, you know, he's, he likes to thrive on this time of year. To um, he loves the big games and he always seems to, you know, know what to say and, and be able to get everyone up, um, you know, in the big games. And obviously, um, as a player, you want to play in these games. And when you've got the, when you've got the the super coach behind you and Wayne Bennett, it's um, you know it makes it easier and, and sort of pretty relaxing and pretty um, you know exciting. What is like Benji was saying? He's not the Wayne that everyone thinks he is. Like, what is Wayne like? Oh, he's just um, he's just Wayne. He lives in Wayne's world and does what Wayne does. He um, I suppose he um, you know, he loves to throw his his two cents of jokes um, in there and likes yeah he likes to make everyone laugh. He is actually kind of funny. Uh, I don't know how he is with the media. He obviously he can be a bit different, but uh, it is what it is. He, he likes to have a joke and um, he doesn't expect anything from us, but for us to do our best. So, um, you yeah, know, we've been doing that at training to, and well, I'm sure we'll do that leading into the game this week. So what would it mean for you personally to end the year on a high after everything that's happened this year? Yeah, obviously it'd be great. Um, you know, I'm sort of, I, I can't wait to sort of get out there Friday night and, and um, you know, get on and, and do my role for the team and just, you know, enjoy the challenges that comes. They've played some pretty quality foot, footy over the past couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, look, we're going to have to, you know, be on defensively. They've got strike all over the park. But uh, for myself, it'll be to go out there and do, um, do my job and hopefully be there in the big dance. But uh, we've got a job in front of us, but I can't wait. I'm, I'm very excited for it. Guys on Zoom, thanks. <laughs> Hey, Jai, just on that, does it feel like a bit of an origin build-up for you, like in just in terms of the intensity of it, or can you use that experience at all from this? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I think origin's probably, you know, a fast sort of tough game, and I'm expecting no no less this week. So I'm sure I'll take that experience out there, and um, it'll help me, I suppose, to calm the nerves as much as I can, but... There's always going to be those nerves there where that you just can't stop, and uh, I think that's a good thing for me. Uh, being nervous throughout the throughout the sort of time from when we get to the field and in the sheds and that, um, you know, I like to sort of have that nervous energy that sort of uh, I think gets me up for more for the game. And then obviously Wayne will say his speech and no doubt have me firing and and ready to go before the game. So yeah, I definitely think I could take the Origin experience into sort of this week. What's the sort of speech that he might give you that just gets you going or you'd be pretty easy to wind up or? Oh, uh, no, I'm pretty relaxed, but I wouldn't say I'll fire up, but you know what? You know, once I cross the white line, I'll be a bit fired up and, um, you know, I suppose everyone will be taking it sort of personal from here on in the last four teams. So um, I want to go out there and, and, you know, do my job as, as best I can, but um, the speech, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what the speech Wayne comes up with. And I'm sure it'll be a good one. How have you sort of found your move to South this year? Is it everything that you expected it to be? Obviously, you're in a great spot at the moment with your, your prelim, but um, is your workload wise and all that like has it changed much? Uh, well, I suppose yes and no. Obviously, 
um, you know, me coming off the bench at the start of the year. And then um, I was on the edge there for a bit starting. Uh, my role sort of did change. and uh, But, you know, I've loved every minute of it. I've, you know, I come here for a reason. And it, that was to play in the big games. And I get my opportunity this week to, you know, play in probably the biggest game of my life in the prelim final to, you know, hopefully go that one step further. So uh, it's definitely been a, an enjoyable ride for myself this year. And I've loved every moment. And, uh, hopefully it doesn't stop here and I, I don't want it to stop here. So I'll be doing everything I can that it, um, that way, yeah, that my journey does it or well, not journey, but the season doesn't stop this week. Cause, um, yeah, I'll be pretty, pretty, uh, filthy if, if it does. Just last one for me, you've been based on the Gold Coast, obviously being a Gold Coast boy, what's that been like and the chance to possibly play grand final at Suncorp, like wouldn't get any better for you, right? No, that definitely helps. Um, yeah, I've only really. Got my mum up here now with her partner and um, uh, my uncle's up here as well. So, um, yeah, look, I don't have too much family up here now, but I've obviously got a lot, lots of friends and, um, you know, been trying to get out and see them as much as I can. And, um, yeah, it'd obviously be pretty special to, um, you know, play a, a play a grand final close to home, but uh, we still got a job ahead of us. But being home, it's been good, obviously. I actually... I was thinking today, I miss my dogs, but I'd, I'd really like to be with my dogs, but they're obviously down at my old man's, so my old man and sister's looking after them, but that's probably the only thing I miss at the moment. And, mate, against the Panthers, you look like you're having a good time there. I suppose the plan is to bring that intensity again this Friday? Yeah, absolutely, and um, yeah, I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say I'd be taking it personal from here on in. Um, you know, it, winner takes all really so um you know I, I just suppose my job is to go out there and bring a bring a little bit of fire bring a little bit of energy and and enjoy the challenge as well and um yeah look i'll continue to to hopefully do that but yeah from here on in i'll be sort of you know taking it pretty personal between everyone out, out there on the field